During the reign of Oliver Cromwell, the British government began to run low on silver for coins. Lord Cromwell sent his men to the local cathedrals to see if they could find any of the precious metal there. After investigating, they reported, the only silver we can find is in the statues of the saints standing in the corners, to which the radical soldier's statements and replied, good, we'll melt down the saints and put them into circulation. That order states the very essence of authentic Christianity. Not rows of saints sitting in pews and chairs on Sunday, but melted down believers circulating through everyday life. I've reached the conclusion that people don't really reject Christianity. Many have read and heard about Christianity and they're interested, but they reject Christians. I'm convinced they're waiting to see Christianity outside the church building. They want to experience it in action, not in talk or in print. Why do I think that? Well, that is the model of God. He knew that it would be extremely difficult for people to know and love Him until they could actually see Him. So God planned and designed to send His Son to earth so that we could actually relate with Him to have God with skin on Him. John in his gospel makes that clear. The Word, Jesus, became flesh so that we could see His glory, His grace, His truth. The writer of Hebrews even points out that Jesus was one who could empathize with our weaknesses, was tempted in every way like us, but without sin. God set the example in order for us to see Him and to know Him, He lived in front of us. Now, we live in front of a watching world in order for them to see and know Him. Jesus didn't say, melt down the saints and put them into circulation, but He did say, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So, what do you say, church? Let the love of God melt us down and put us into circulation. Just a thought.